Kevin McCarthy weighed in on the challenges to his speakership after the vote yesterday. This is what he had to say. But I'm going to be a conservative that gets things done for the American public. And it, whatever that holds, so be it. Because I believe in not giving up on America. I'm not going to be beholden to somebody who portrays and does something different. All right, joining us now to discuss is Republican Congressman Mike Lawler of New York. Thank you for joining us, Congressman Lawler. Uh, I, and I know you've been very much a defender of Kevin McCarthy throughout all of this. You supported the bill. What's your reaction to what Matt Gates said? He's going to come out next week and try to remove him as speaker. Well, I think what I just heard was a diatribe of delusional thinking. Uh, look, we're in a divided government. And in a divided government, uh, any final bill is going to have bipartisan support. Uh, it needs to pass the Senate, and it needs to be signed by the president. Uh, nobody in our conference disagrees with the need to do single-subject spending bills. Nobody disagrees with the need to cut spending. Uh, in fact, it's one of the biggest reasons why I ran. Uh, Joe Biden and his administration increased spending by over $5 trillion dollars, uh, in just two years. And as Matt pointed out, our national debt is $33 trillion. It's unsustainable. But when you're trying to break the system, when you're trying to reform it, it takes time. We have been doing the work over the last few months, going line by line, budget bill by budget bill, uh, finding ways to cut spending uh, and reform the system. Uh, but we were not able to complete that work by September 30th, which was the end of the fiscal year. And so to shut down the government uh, would inflict pain on the American people, and it would hurt a already fragile economy because Bidenomics has failed. And the it's... only responsible thing to do was to keep the government open and funded while we complete our work. Uh, and I agree with Matt. We need to finish all 12 appropriations bills. The Senate has not passed one single bill. But by putting this motion to vacate on the floor... You know what Matt Gates is going to do? He's going to delay the ability to complete that work over the next 45 days. And just like he and some of my colleagues did uh, during the past three weeks, they delayed the process by voting down the rules, violating our conference rules. They delayed the process by refusing to come to an agreement within the conference and, and on a conservative CR that would have cut spending by 8 so percent and enacted border security. They are the reason that we had to work together yesterday with House Democrats to pass ACR. That is not the fault of Kevin McCarthy. That's the fault of Matt Gates. And, and it, 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 just to point, it, I think it's important to point out that you talk about the, the debt, which obviously is a huge problem. $7.8 trillion of that debt was added under the presidency of, of Donald Trump. But what is going to happen? What do you anticipate? I mean, will we, had, we saw 90 Republicans vote against... Uh, this this bill to keep the government running, even though McCarthy uh, talked about it as essential, uh, that's clearly was a, was a to, to a degree a vote of, of a lack of confidence in McCarthy's leadership. Do you uh, do, do you think Republicans will join? How many Republicans will join Gates in in that motion to vacate? No, I don't think that was a lack of confidence in the Speaker's leadership. We have a lot of people in our conference who have never voted for a CR. That's their prerogative, that's their right uh, as elected representatives of their districts. But we have to work together as a team. We have 221 Republicans. We need 218 votes uh, to pass legislation through the House floor. Uh, putting a motion to vacate forward in defiance of conference rules, which requires a majority of the majority. So, you know, I hear Matt constantly talking about the need to follow regular order, follow conference rules. Kevin McCarthy lied. He violated this. He violated that. Matt Gates voted against uh, the choice for speaker of the conference. He voted to take down rules. And now he's putting a motion to vacate on the floor uh, in defiance of conference rules, which requires a majority of the majority. So, you know, this is a guy who uh, says one thing uh, out of one side of his mouth and speaks another thing out of the other side. He's mealy mouthed uh, and, you know, frankly, duplicitous. What's your message to Hakeem Jeffries and uh, your Democratic colleagues on this? Because uh, if they vote with Matt Gates, and Gates only needs to have a handful of, of Republicans, and, and he can remove uh, a Speaker 
Kevin McCarthy. So what, what's your message to Democrats about whether or not to go along with that? Look, ultimately, Democrats uh, are going to make a decision uh, for themselves. I think it is destructive to the country uh, to uh, put forth this motion to vacate. We have a lot of work to do. The American people elected a House Republican majority to serve as a check and balance on the Biden agenda and the administration's reckless spending. The only way to do that is to complete our appropriations work. We have 45 days to do it. Uh, Senate Democrats have not passed one single appropriations bill through the Senate floor. We are dealing with a crisis at our southern border, uh, and it is impacting my home state of New York uh, like it has southern border states. Uh, we need to get border security. Uh, Chuck Schumer has done absolutely nothing when it comes to dealing with the crisis at our border. House Republicans have passed H.R. 2. We need to use the appropriations process as the vehicle to get border security for the American people, crack down on this massive influx of migrants coming into our country, uh, and reform our immigration system long term. But this will all be torpedoed by one person uh, who wants to put a motion to vacate for personal political reasons uh, and undermine the will of the conference and the American people who elected a Republican majority to govern. And, and one of the reasons why the Senate has not passed any of those appropriations bills is because there have been Republicans that have prevented the, the, uh, the vote from going forward. But Mike Lawler of New York, thank you very much for joining us. We'll talk to you again soon. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.